Hey, how are we doing today? My name is Aki. Aki nos encontramos con Joel de León at Sony Studios. How you doing? What's up? Good. I'm super happy to be here. Definitely. So let's talk about your second single, Coco. Coco. What was the inspiration behind the song? Uh, the inspiration behind the song was Name actually her, no. um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the actual, you know, the moment I was going through, um, which was, you know, love and all that type of good stuff. So, you know, junto ne next to the other writers, which are, are uh, Gale, Cadalia, and the producer, um, Dallas K, everything came out exactly the way we wanted. It came out really quickly. And, you know, I'm really happy with the outcome. It's something completely different compared to my first single, and everyone has, has really received it well. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy about that. Okay, so let's talk about a lyric that I found. A lyric? Oy. Okay. I like <laughs> Ah, dang. Why, which one? Which one? Let's see. Yo no sé lo que me haces. Pero tú me vuelves loco. ¿Qué te vuelve loco? Eh, no sé, una, uh, es que... Everybody wants to know. Como que, no, no hay una cosa, I don't think there's something in specific that, that makes me go crazy. I think it's just like, like this person being themselves, like being super genuine and just like, you know, understanding my personality, my humor, like just the connection that, that we have in between our, uh, ourselves is something que, que me vuelve loco. Okay. You know? I was gonna say the four or five drives me crazy. No, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask. Okay, so you've been releasing singles. Do you have like the album ready to go, and then you're kind of just dropping one here, one there, or like? We we created another strategy with, with the upcoming single. So for now, I'm just gonna do singles, 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 and eventually I'll be I'll be taking out the album. Because they're a little different too. Yeah. So it's like in qué dirección vas a ir? People don't Exacto. even know, huh? See, no, no. There's a lot. There's a lot of things to be honest. Okay. Um, what, what you guys have heard in the moment is not even like five percent of what i've been doing you know there's a whole bunch of other things i that that um everyone hasn't heard in my voice which really excites me because oh, this last year i've been learning voice. so much okay so so yeah just have to stay tuned to my new music that's coming out you've been learning a lot what do you mean by that like i've been learning a lot um about myself uh not just uh personally i mean um like as a person but also as an artist like like uh, musically i think i've learned a whole bunch um, I've learned how to do a couple other genres that I thought probably in the past that wouldn't fit me, but but it's never been like it's just it's just that I've never tried it out. Um, I'm sitting right next to the producer like 99% of the time, you know, choosing how my voice is sound, what sounds I want to be in the in the song. So it's just like, you know, I think I've grown a lot in the, in the aspect of the musicality in my so career. Like putting yourself in these random situations, yeah. just seeing how like you exactly. grow from that. It's not just like going to the studio and recording a song. I'm right. there like for the whole process. So I think that that's been really nice. Okay, would you say you're like an extrovert or an introvert? I would say, um, I think at first, when I first started, it was a bit more difficult for me um, to really express myself and be outgoing like that. You were young too, so, you know, yeah. come on. <laughs> so I, I would have said I was an introvert back then, but I, I but I think I'm, I think I don't know if there's an in between, but I feel oh, like there is. I feel like I feel like I'm an I'm an in between. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. might be like a intro extrovert. I don't know, but um, when, once I get really comfortable with the people that I'm around, um, I'm a super extrovert. You know? I, yeah, I feel like that's everybody though. You know, like when you're with your group of people, you can be an extrovert, but if you're like in an unknown, yeah, kind of like, like that, you know, first. like yeah. Should I act like this around them? No, yes, and then you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. Can they take my jokes? Exactly. You know, are they gonna be butthurt? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> What's their humor? Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. What's something that you want to do todavía though? You know, like that you dream of, of about doing one day? So much. Um, I feel like I did a whole bunch in the band, but I, but I, I feel like there's way more to, to do. I, you know, I want to travel to all the places that I already did with the guys, but now with my own music, I want to I wanna keep exp experimenting, you know, I want to keep learning. I want to eventually, I don't know, do movies, uh, release uh, my own brand of clothes. I really like that. And uh, I don't know, maybe open up, you know, I don't know, like a restaurant or a hotel or something like that in the future. I have a lot of a lot of goals. So mini golf. So a mini You're golf. A mini golf. Yeah. Fanatic, yeah, right? Yeah, I love mini golf. I'm always beating um, Renato Francis over there. He's part of my team. Every time I go um, play mini golf, I'm always beating him. You just gotta um, win one game to be a winner. You know what I mean? You just gotta win exactly, one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> just, just before he goes on social media and puts on his stories that he beats me, but. That's not right. Um, <laughs> All right. But yeah, I'm gonna open up a mini golf too. Stop laughing, everybody. That's it. Not... <laughs> All right. So look, summer is coming up. Uh, Coincide que Coco is a bomb song to play this summer, Thank right? You. Okay. But what's your favorite summertime pastime? Ah, oh, there's so much. I love to play soccer. I love to be. In you the know, summertime? Yeah, I love to sweat. I, I love eso. to sweat. <laughs> you know, as, as long as it's just soccer, I can't be doing anything else and sweat. If it's soccer, I'm super distracted. I'm like, you know 
very into what the game is. Part of the la sangre, you exacto, know, at that point. Okay. Exacto. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I played right bench all of soccer, so. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I don't know. I also like to be sometimes like an, un botecito, you know, chilling like okay. on the water. Um, it's a plan is, you know, just something super chill. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us thank today you. on LATV. Thank you. Thank you.